Are you guys ready to test out some new products? Hey, what up you guys? It's your girl Chrissy, back with another video. Welcome to today's video. If you guys do not know who I am, or if you do know who I am, hi, my name is Chrissy, I am a YouTuber, and I like to do many things on my channel, like react to things, do a little beauty things. I like to do, I like to experiment a lot on my channel. And I like to watch and observe. Think of me as kind of as a non-scientist YouTuber scientist that doesn't do science, but not really. If you guys, I just react to do. Th I just react to things. I ask people questions. I do things, and yeah. So on to the point of this video. So in this video, earlier on, I said that I'm gonna be testing out products, and it's actually some beauty products. So what am I missing from my face? Lips. So, Maybelline just came out with these cool lip kits. This is not sponsored. I actually got these for Christmas, and I know it's March, and I haven't tried them out yet. But my mom, yeah, my mom got these for me. It was like a stocking stuffer. And these are both the Maybelline Python Metallic Lip Kits. They look like this, and this is what it says to do in the back. I have numbers 25 and 30, so I have this purplish called Va Valiant. Valiant? Valiant? This is how you pronounce it if it's going to focus. Yeah, that's what it says. And I have number 30, Provoked. And apparently it's a powder type of lip product. So what you do is that you put on the what's it apparently it's matte the first color you put and then you put the metallic shimmer powder so I'm gonna test out both of these colors so first I think we should go all natural and do number 30 so when you open it it looks like this it's a cute little compartment and if this is gonna let me open without ruining my nails that will be fantastic okay and I did not ruin the nail so this is what it looks like no mirror or anything and these are all untouched except for the purple one I touched the purple one so this is kind this color kind of reminds me of Jeffree Star's Christmas cookie but who knows it might look different on the lips and this is the metallic shade you put on top so apparently these are powders so let me see what the are there like specific instructions no apparently then the photos it looks like the woman is using her finger but I don't want to do that so I'm going to take a brush where did my brush go is this good enough no hmm this brush I'll just use this brush it's an eyeshadow brush but we'll just use it as a lip brush today I know it doesn't make sense but we're gonna do it so let's see is this gonna be cool or is this gonna be a flop all right so we're first gonna go in with this oh oh yeah it feels glossy when you're tapping it I don't know whether to put a little bit or a lot, but this is what it looks like. I have my Urban Decay brush. Let me get a mirror. A good one. Even though I have a big one right there, I want to see up close what it looks like. Can I zoom you guys in? And let me? No. Oh, if you see that my camera is in not in like a little different area, I have a little selfie stick that's also a tripod, which is really cool. All right, back to this topic. Oh, why am I so nervous? Okay, so you guys can see too. Oh, ooh, okay. 
It's applying on really nicely. Okay, I'm not hating it. I'm liking it. It feels very lightweight, not heavy at all. I definitely have to go in for a second dip to do the bottom. Alright. If you guys want to know why my lips look weird, that's because I had foundation on underneath this. So, yeah, I like to build it up. This is the thing. It feels powdery, but not... Okay. Pretty interesting. Yeah, this color is definitely like Jeffree Star's Christmas cookie. That's for sure. I'm going to put a little bit more on because I want to go to like the darker. Okay. This should be good enough. Okay, so I'll put this back and I'll find another brush to use later. And the powder, should I put it on with my finger? Or should I use, I mean, I have a tiny brush. Should I use this? Maybe. Yeah, I'll use this. Okay, so we're gonna go in with the shimmer shade. To be honest, just in my opinion, they should have added a little mirror to it, but it's okay. So we'll, we're gonna put more to the middle. Oh wow, this is like sparkly. Not super sparkly, but sparkly enough to be like, ooh wow. But it's some but this is the thing, you have to like build up. Like I have to go in. Oh oh yeah. Is that a little too much? I don't think so. That's pretty decent, right? Okay. I mean, I don't know if I'm doing this right or something, but I feel like I'm doing something wrong. I don't know what, but I feel. So, yeah, I don't know how I'm feeling about this. This is the thing. The color by itself without the metallic it was really pretty i liked it let me you can't th i think this is as best as you guys are gonna see it looking into the mirror here and looking into this i don't hate it but i don't love it either so okay let's go on to the one i cannot pronounce which is this purple one Okay, so these are actually really easy to take off, which kind of surprises me. So, but at the same time, it doesn't because I haven't worn it for a super long time. So, as you can see, I went into this one because I did a swatch. So, this is the purple one called Valiant, Valiant, however you pronounced it, whatever. So, we're going to go into another shadow brush because I use... Yeah, we're okay, gonna go with another shadow brush. You've got, you've guys seen all my brushes before, so they're not gonna be a surprise to you. You know what? I'll do the purple with the brush, and this time maybe I'll use the metallic with my finger, cause maybe it was that. Okay. All right, this one feels the same. Like it. This is so weird, like, it feels like actual lipstick in a pan, but also lip gloss, which is so weird. I don't know whether to put a lot or not, because if it's pigmented... Oh my god, I'm really scared. Okay, this is why I did only a winged look today. I know they're not twins, but they're stepsisters. That's what they are. Okay. <laughs> I'm, like, nervous. Okay. Whoa! Okay. This is pretty, wow, okay. 
first thoughts are, wow, this is very purple, like, ve <laughs> oh my god, I'm so weird, okay, yeah, these, you would have to go in quite a bit to make it look normal. Or it's probably because of the brush I'm using. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Okay. So. Oh my god, this makes my teeth look yellow. Ooh, I don't like that. Uh, okay. Do I need to pat? Oh, uh, okay. And I uh, messed it up. Okay. Yep, I definitely got some there. It's okay, I'll fix it. Yep, comes off easy. Okay. I got okay. Okay. This is just like a plain mess. I like it, but it's a mess. <laughs> okay. So, right now, we're going to go into this. It looks kind of similar to the other type of shimmer I'm using. So, I'm going to use my finger. Feeling it with the finger, it feels like powder. And there's no fallout. And I, I didn't mention that before. There's no fallout. Oh, yeah, this is a finger thing. You can't use your brush. That's why it looked so weird, because I used a brush the first time. You need to use your finger. Yep. Uh. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, that, this one came out nicer. It definitely did. See? Oh, cool. I mean, I don't know if you can tell, I'm, I obviously only film with my, oh, oh my god, my hair. What? Okay, so, I film with my iPhone, so that's why it's a little ugh, weird. But let's give my final thoughts on these lip kits. So overall, Maybelline, this is pretty cool. This is a different idea. I would never have, like, think of lip kits in a pan is you know it's actually pretty smart instead of like putting a lip liner first and then doing this and then doing that where you can all just have it in an easy little compartment you can like put it in your purse so today i want to i want to be nude and well not nude like that i want to have nude but shimmery lips you can put this in your purse or in your pocket it's really easy or if you want to be bold you can bring like your dark one and I personally think it's pretty cool I don't know how much they retail for but if they do it's up here and yeah this is literally an awesome drugstore product I give this in eight and a half out of ten the formula could have been a little bit better I loved how there is no fallout to it I think it I think that's pretty cool and I love how it's lightweight and just I think it's probably because my I put them with a brush and I didn't use my fingers only for the purple one but yeah those are my final thoughts so if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you are interested in trying one of these products and or if you've tried them and you like them. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I love you guys and I will see you soon with another video. Bye! <laughs>